Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. It is a lovely, lovely sunny day and I am about to hit some delts and chest. I love that combination and I am going to take it as always through my app and make sure that I stick to my plan. Uh, but with that said, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like and I will catch you at the gym. But oh, one more thing, if you're new here, which I truly appreciate, I am Ida, I am from Sweden, I live in LA, and I absolutely love my fitness lifestyle. And cameraman almost fell off his vehicle when I was about to tell you guys that I love also to share my experiences in the gym about being an entrepreneur and about being someone that helps other people truly find their key to have the most beneficial lifestyle. So I hope that you'll tag along and be a part of my community. So we are here at our first warm-up exercise for today. Uh, I am going to start with low cable flies because I freaking love this exercise. It just like gets the momentum going, gets the blood flowing. And I will actually do something that I got recommended by one of the most amazing IFBB pros in here, uh, Farah. She told me that I should add in lateral raises in every single chest or uh, shoulder exercise workout. So I'm going to do that after each and every set just to make sure to keep on building those shoulders because she has my dream shoulders together with Daniel and Bailey. I'm like, I'm obsessed with their shoulders, so I'm going to do exactly what she's telling me. Uh, and that's one of the things you guys should remember. There will always be people out there that has a few tips and tricks up on their sleeves and I hope that I'm going to be one of those persons for you. So let's do it. So since it is the first set, I'm going to do it super light. I'm just going to start the contraction going getting the pump, getting the connection, and I'm gonna lift it. See, starting to lift from the chest, squeezing the shecks, the shecks, the pecs, the pest, the, pe the pecs and the chest together is the, what did I say, the pest? <laughs> yeah, and the cheeks and everything. And yeah. yeah, everything, yeah, you know. So squeeze and pull, hold it. It's all about getting that mind to muscle started. Gonna stop at 20, and then I'm going to head over to the ladder races. And since I'm in the cable machine, I'm going to do cable ladder races first. And one of the reasons why I really truly like starting with cable machines is that they are very, very easy on your joints and those ligaments. and when I rest I'm gonna use my rubber band as you know my resistance band and I'm gonna make sure that I do my mobility work I'm gonna rest for roughly one minute and then I'm gonna go again 2020 I have now completed three sets of 20 reps of each exercise, but I am going to do one more, uh, but I can already feel it. I am already pumped up and I'm going to then head over to uh, cable fly just for fun. Right? So the reason 
why I'm walking over to do a more parallel cable fly is because you get a better stretch. The other one is more below activating, getting that circulation going, and this one will be more of a stretch movement. Just like you actually saw me doing the resistance band, but now I'm putting on more weights for it. Hand on the game, we are not playing the same. No, we not looking to change. Hand on the way, they think we lacking the drive. Boy, you should stay in your lane. Put on the gas, I do not care if I crash. Long as I stick to the plan, what is the plan? I cannot lie for none of you, long as I know who I am. I'm gonna go for four sets in this one. I'm gonna start with 20 reps. I'm gonna lower myself down to 15, 12, and 10. And in between, I'm gonna do more mobility exercises, get those rotator cuffs going, and then hit the next exercise thank god how he held me down the most can't stop now gotta grind to the post gotta thank god how he held me down the most got the whole team on my back i ain't worried about no stats okay that was four sets let's do a fifth just for the sake of it and then hit the incline bench press and i can tell you this those three will be plenty for my chest today. Um, I can already feel it, I feel pumped. And I actually do think that chest might be one of the like nicest addition to an already built body. I think it's like when you see on a female that the chest pops, I just think she looks really athletic. So I want to have some pecs, I want to have some delts, and that's gonna be the focus this year. Okay, last set. Enough, let's do incline. Bench press. And I love bench. I just rarely do it. Even though it's one of those exercises everyone wants to know how much you do in PRs. I have no clue. Today's the day? No. no PRs. Definitely not. <laughs> big pecs. Oof. Guys, I can already feel it. Like, Peck on fire. big time, big time. Uh, so, incline bench press. I'm gonna start with this one. And I just want to give you a few tips before I even start. So when you're lowering the bar, imagine that you are breaking it in two and even keep the same momentum when you go up again. So always picture yourself breaking the bar. That's going to in in engage. That's going to engage your chest more. And also don't flare your elbows upwards. Keep them in, tuck them in and go. So breaking the bar, tucked elbows, that's it. Focus on that and then Everything else will just kind of sort itself out. <laughs> Let's do it. So what I mean with tucked elbows is that a lot of people go out here. This is a really bad angle for your shoulder joints. So instead, try to keep the bar up straight, elbows in and break the bar. Go down, up. Yep. So again, feel the momentum. Don't only do the reps. Don't only move the bar from point A to point B. Actually feel the movement. Really focus on the, this, like, the heaviness. Even though it's light, think about it as heavy and really control the movement. So 
So the first real working set was an eight rep and I think I'm actually gonna stick to that today because I am still kind of working my way towards actually fully feeling comfortable with the bench press again. So this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna do four to five sets of eight to 10 reps on this one. Let's do it. And I am of course going to superset these with some lateral raises. And this time I'm gonna actually kind of keep my arms in a 90 degree just to switch it up. And I'm just gonna like wrap it out. I'm just gonna do like M wrap. And then I'm gonna need to rest a decent 80 to 90 seconds before I hit the presses again. Ooh. Out, 20. I can already feel it. Like, it's this, you know, the feeling of almost getting numb already, which is awesome, it's only 40 minutes in. And I really feel like I'm working every single cell of my muscles, so. Yeah, let me rest for a few more seconds, then I'm gonna go again. The feeling of total helplessness when you when you feel like your left arm just gives in and you know there's no one there behind you. The cameraman has the camera. Yeah, so it would have been very expensive if I if he needed to drop everything, uh, but I'm fine. This is like if I get too low or change an angle just a millimeter, my left side just don't want to be in the play. Okay. So that is also one of the reasons why I don't no longer do PRs, especially in bench or any overhead movements. I am still having my, my neck issue. So I'm trying to just pace myself. I did eight. So next set most likely will be a six, just because I will be afraid. You said eight. Damn you. <laughs> yeah, okay. The cameraman I, is gonna be behind. Okay, so the camera is gonna be behind me. I'm gonna do eight because we said so. And that's what we're gonna do. So, since I said to myself that I am going to do eight reps for five sets, I will need my cameraman to help me. And that is the same thing for you. If you have a plan, try to stick to it. If that means that you need to lower your, your weight or ask someone for help, just do it. Just make sure that you give yourself the opportunity to actually finish the workout that you set up for yourself. Let's get it. Okay. Sex suck hard. Come on, man. Yes. Bomb. Left. Man. Four. Yeah. Three. Three. Four. Come on, come on. Bam. <laughs> Power, oh. come on, come on, come on, come on, in my left, in my left, trick, up, 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 up,
Thanks for the support. Tumble races, tumble races, tumble lateral races. That was a really good set. <laughs> yeah, that felt more, that felt comfortable. I wasn't afraid. Last one. Yep. I'm done with that. So now I will move over to the shoulder part of the workout. Uh, my pecs are on fire. So let's just come along to this one. Doing good, ready for dumbbell press? Yes, so I'm heading over for the inside where I'm gonna do dumbbell presses together with machine lateral races. So I'm really hitting all different types of That's lateral races. Yep. Oh, can you see it? I see it. <laughs> so I am going to go for 12 reps just to get it in and then we'll see how many pounds we're heading towards today. That was lightweight, baby. So guys, this is the bad boy that I'm gonna super set with. And this guy, he's no kind, no kind at all. this workout out and as you have seen I have super set it like everything hey dude what's up nice to see what's you up? <laughs> yeah likewise uh, and I would actually need like a couple of minutes to reset everything and just get back to you know <laughs> I want to press heavy I want don't don't mock me okay <laughs> but the thing is guys sometimes you just have to listen to your body and I mean five, that gives me at least five sets instead of zero and everything above zero is a hero, so <laughs> let's go. I'm just kidding, I'm not going back up on stage. Just playing around and I am going to do this. How many reps? No, I don't know. I'm just going to take one rep at a time. Because <laughs> cameraman is mocking me, so I'm not going to say a number, okay? This workout is absolutely phenomenal, so I would recommend you to try it out, honestly. And you will see the details throughout the video. And if you want to have a handful of these workouts, you should sign up for the Ivy Fit team, because we are making it happen for you. Woo. Left from the hood, then you can't go back. Trained in the ways of the ancient facts. Blazing the pace with the trees all stacked. Making the ways push people back. Push people back. Late to the stage they come. Papers to blaze the punk. Police on the beats we run. High 
right, you're not equal, chump. I'm above, you're below us all. No love in the doja fools. Utilize my golden tool. No repentance is over, dude. If you're in the wrong order, we're dead. Raise up a hand. Murderous raises Three more. Better. Mm. <laughs> you happy with that? Uh, I thought that I actually would have ten. But then. It was eight. It was eight. <laughs> Damn, and now it's super setting again. Ugh. And as you can see, I'm a little bit forward tilted right here. And I'm also thinking about lifting with my elbows. So forcing my elbows to go up in the roof and that targets right there. I started thinking about, well actually a couple of weeks back, I started to think about one thing. When I got the question more than one time one day, how do I get your traps? And guys, since I have honestly not done more than maybe two work sets of shrugs for the past four to five years, I can promise you that if you just do your grocery carrying, multiple times per week, you are going to get your traps, just like these, because this is just pure traps from grocery carrying. And I'm not saying just from the car, from the store to the car and from the car to your home. I mean, take the distance, walk those miles to get to the grocery store and get back and you will get peace. <laughs> so boys and girls, it is time to do another super set and it's gonna be rare dolls, it's gonna be face pulls and around the world with weight plates. That's gonna be brutal. And I'm gonna do 15 and 12. So 25 rep reps per set. So as you can see, I am kind of dragging and pulling the rope apart to really feel it in my rear delt. They are uneven. I cannot do that, so I need to fix another one. That was actually kind of easy. <laughs> contraction I return so at the top and at the bottom making sure to never lose the contraction so I am about to head into the last exercise no last superset of today so I'm gonna do I have increased weight there I cannot increase weight on the around the world it's just like that exercise is so heavy especially when you do it in a superset so if you haven't tried that out try it out it's magical but yeah, let's finish this.
So last set of today, let's do it. done so guys this will be the wrap-up of this video I hope you enjoy the content that I brought to you today I am absolutely feeling, feeling smoked and let me know down in the comments down below if you try it out it's gonna be absolutely amazing for you too I think so until next time stay safe be well make sure to subscribe all the best